This is Fujitsu Siemens Amilo, laptop from the early 2000s. For many, this is useless and forgotten technology, but for me, this is a new challenge. Hey, what's up everyone, I'm Andrew, and in this video, we're gonna restore, upgrade and back in function this old laptop. This is Fujitsu Siemens Amilo, the high-end laptop from the early 2000s. This laptop is coming with IMD Mobile Athlon 1600+, CPU. The GPU is 80 Radeon 320M with 128MB of video memory. The RAM is 256MB DDR1 and the hard disk is 40 gigs with ID connection. The reason why I got this laptop is I found it for a very cheap. It cost me 5 euros or that's about a 5.5 US dollars. Actually, I went to buy some used parts from some guy and there I saw a bunch of old tech that also was on sale. And basically there I did a techy archaeological digging and in a bunch of everything I found this laptop. The guy from that I buy this laptop told me that this laptop is working but the laptop is out of use for a long time and the laptop has no charger. When I back home, I start with testing. The charger actually is not a problem because these models are using an Asus charger, which actually I have. So I connect the charger and I press the power button and the laptop started. The laptop has already installed Windows with several basic apps and basically everything is working fine, except a few things. The AT Radeon is not showing, but I think that's because it has no drivers. The Wi-Fi is not showing at all, and the laptop temperature is extremely hot. Well, let's start and back this laptop in function again. First, I will start from the bottom side, and I will remove all covers to check the laptop. Well, the laptop is looking pretty good and it's very clean from the inside and I really don't expect that. Let's continue and first I will remove the cooling. Well, now first I will clean the CPU and then I will clean the heatsink and the cooling fan. To clean all these components I will use cotton buds, a 96% alcohol and soft brush. Well, now after everything is clean, I will apply a thermal paste over the CPU and then I will mount the heatsink and the cooling fan. So, everything is looking good. And now I will install the hard disk and then I will move on the other things. Now, before I continue with some upgrades, first I will remove the keyboard, because to check the Wi-Fi and to upgrade the RAM. Well, the 256 megabytes of RAM is placed here. And now I will take it out. 
The Wi-Fi probably is under the cover. So actually this laptop doesn't have installed Wi-Fi. And fortunately I have one old laptop that cannot be repaired. So from there I will take out the Wi-Fi and I will mount the Wi-Fi on this Siemens laptop. But there is another problem. The Wi-Fi antennas are also missing. And in this case I will need to make some Wi-Fi antennas. To make the Wi-Fi antennas for this laptop I will use the antenna cables from the other non-working laptop. Also I will use aluminum foil, small plastic bags that's for isolation and tape. I know. This is totally ridiculous, but actually this hack is working on some of these older laptop models. The Wi-Fi signal probably will not be great, but without antennas the Wi-Fi will not work completely. Well these are the Wi-Fi antennas and now let's mount the antennas. Well this is it and I really hope that the Wi-Fi will work later. Now it's time to upgrade the RAM. From 256 MB of RAM I will go to 1 GB of RAM. I'm not sure if this laptop supports more, but this is the best and all that I have temporary. Well, basically all is done here and now let's move on cleaning. Considering its age, this laptop is pretty clean, that is very surprising. Most of these older laptops are not even functional, but this one is like a gem. To clean the laptop case and the keyboard I will use a soft brush, a 96% alcohol, glass cleaner, few cleaning clothes and cotton buds. While cleaning the keyboard I had to be very careful, because the laptop keyboards are very sensitive and easy to damage. Especially I had to be very careful around the keys, because here even small drops of liquid may damage the entire keyboard, including pure alcohol. I mean if the liquid passes to the inside between the keyboard layers. After I finish with the keyboard and the case around, let's move on the display. And first I will start by cleaning the display bezel. Also to clean the display bezel and the display I will use a 96% alcohol, anti-static glass cleaner, cotton buds for the corners, few soft cleaning clothes and soft brushes. If you're going to clean some display then be very careful, because the display is sensitive also. Never push hard on the display. I mean push very soft and gentle. Especially you need to be very careful with cleaning the display edges, because the display edges are very sensitive. I mean do not let any kind of liquid to passes over the display's edges. If the liquid goes there then you may damage the entire display. Well this is it and the display is shining again. It's like a brand new. Now as last part I will clean the top case and here I will finish with detail cleaning. Well after everything is done the laptop is complete and it's shining again. Now I move on reinstalling the windows. And here everything is going great until I come to the part where I need to install the drivers. Because this is a very old laptop, finding the right drivers is pretty hard. The official web page is down for a long time and I need to search the web. After a few hours of digging the internet I found all drivers that I need. 
and the hardest to find was the right 80 radion driver. But however, at the end, everything is working fine. Now probably you will ask, what's about the Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi is working pretty well, but the Wi-Fi signal isn't great at all. It's pretty weak and actually is half from the normal. At this point here, the Wi-Fi signal is full, but that's because the Wi-Fi router is on a few meters from here. And if I move the laptop in another room, then the Wi-Fi is totally down. While making the basic tests, it happens one great thing, which is the last what I expected. Accidentally, I disconnected the charger, but the laptop keeps running. Actually, the battery started working. At first, the battery keeps about 10 minutes, but after several recharges, the capacity grows to about 1 hour and 40 to 50 minutes under full usage, which is totally unexpected and totally great. Well, now let's see what this laptop can do. Considering its age, we cannot expect a lot from this laptop, because this is 16 or 17 years old technology, or maybe more. But basically, this laptop is working surprising fast. Navigating through Windows XP is going smooth without lags or anything else. The web browsing is going slow, but is not impossible. The web pages are fully loading, the images are showing, the videos are showing also, and all is normal. Watching videos on YouTube is going slow, but is not impossible also. Just I had to go with 240p or 360p resolution. If I play some music, then the video may have some logs, but the audio is going without any issue. So basically, on this laptop, I can watch videos in low resolution or play music. Now, let's move on the gaming performance. In this area, we cannot expect a lot, but the older games are running pretty fine, and the first game that I play is CS16. In this game, I used native screen resolution and high graphics, and the game is running surprising well. All is going without locks or anything, and the frame rate is about a 40. So basically on this laptop I can play some older games, like the Half-Life or some other similar games from that era. The next game that I play on this laptop is Delta Force. This is old game also and has a less requirements from the CS. This game is running pretty well also, without any lags or any other issue. The next game on the list is the Metal Slug 2. This is an old and epic run and gun game, and this laptop simply is perfect for games like this one. Metal Slug 2 is running great also, without any issue, and probably on this laptop I can play all Metal Slug series. And the last game on the list is the iconic Cadillac and Dinosaurus. When we're talking about the older hardware, I cannot skip this game. This game is running pretty well and smooth, without any issue. Also, while playing this game, I test the laptop's battery. When I started this game, the battery was 82%. So I did a pretty long gameplay. I almost passed the entire game 
which actually takes about an hour of gameplay. And at the end, when I turn off the game, the battery has 41% left. So basically, I can finish this game almost twice with one charge. Well, this is all about this early 2000s laptop. This laptop has no great specs, but it's still good enough to play music, read something on a web and playing an older but great games. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give an idea and inspiration to back some old tech in life again. Also, if you want to support me to grow this channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.